Hi everyone, this is Matt with Prime Studios. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some cross-site scripting and a particular vulnerability in websites that have a user login form on every page. Uh, what I've done is I've come up with a fake products page, which we have a product search button, and a login form, which you might find in a header or footer or uh, somewhere else. But for some reason, these uh, developers were putting a login page or a login form on every page. Uh, and they're not using HTTPS or anything like that. So that's that's our simulation. You can see when we try to log in into a login page, and uh, we can type anything here, uh, and that would be the product that we're searching for. So as you can see, we're using a get value for this. Uh, it's passed to the URL, and that is a first step for uh, looking for uh, XSX or cross-site scripting uh, vulnerabilities. Now. Right off the bat, we can try and see if if this uh, this form is is vulnerable. So we're going to insert a simple uh, open and close script tag, and we're going to see if this uh, gets filtered out. And as you can see, we passed it, but it didn't show up on the page, which means that it's basically running uh, just as if the developer put it inside the web page. So we know that it's uh, particularly vulnerable to scripting attacks. So the next thing uh, we can do, and just to prove that it's actually uh, doing this, we can say hello prime, and uh, put that in there. And we can run that, and you can see that we actually sent an alert from the search box. So the next thing to look at is we're just going to grab, we're just going to make sure that this login form is pretty normal. Yeah, we use username and password for the post values and uh, you can see method equals post. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a file that can grab that information. So we're going to call it stolen.php. I'm going to come in here and uh, open our PHP tag. And basically the uh, purpose of, let's just do short, um, purpose of this file is going to be to grab anything that has a post value of username or password. And uh, this is a pretty directed attack. You know, we went to the website, we figured out a couple couple values that they're passing. Um, but, you know, a lot of sites are like this and it's not too hard to generate something. So, our right string is going to pretty much uh, put our values somewhere that we can read them. Um, so just bear with me for a second while we do this. Uh, you'll see why we're doing this in just a second. So that's my write string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write this information to a file. Uh, in particular, just a text file, which is a really simple way to log data. If you don't want to mess with a database or uh, you know do something more involved, what we can do is just put log txt. And we're going to append to that, which is what that A stands for. We're just going to use the, uh, well, these are just standard PHP functions. Um, write string, that's my string that we're holding that in. And we're going to want to close the file once we're done with it. I don't want to leave open files. The last thing we're going to do on this page is because we're uh, planning on redirecting people to this page, uh, we're going to put a header redirect in this because we don't want people to know that they you know, had their password and username compromised. We just want to send them back to where they came from. So again, this is, this is pretty targeted. You could use something like HTTP uh, refer if you wanted to get really complicated. But we know where they're coming from, so we're just going to send them back to that place. Uh, products.php and as you can see that's uh, that is where the person is, uh, is coming from. So now that we have this file created uh, we can come back to our web browser and uh, we can generate a script that is going to modify where this login form is posted to and this is where the, uh, the scripting comes in, into play here we know that we can use script inside that search box, so now we just need to inject something that would uh, be more or less, uh, you know, malicious or you know, affect the end user. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to modify 
the, uh, the action value inside that pose form. So we're going to start off with window.onload and that equals a function. And this function is going to run once the, uh, once the window is loaded. Uh, we're going to do document.forms and this basically uh, accesses all the forms on the page and it's, uh, the first form is going to be form 0 and we're just going to type in action and we're going to modify this action. It's kind of scary how easy this is to just take over a form like this and this is why uh, cross-site scripting is uh, some of the most powerful or one of the most powerful uh, risks or vulnerabilities out there right now. Um, so you realize how important it is to really filter for XSS or, uh, or take into account some of these things that we're talking about. So I'm going to close off all my tags and that should be ready. You can see we have no errors. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into our search form under that, you can see that uh, it obviously didn't come up in our search results, and that's because it's a uh, it's a script. It's being ran inside the browser. So we could encode that. We could put it into uh, into something that maybe people don't understand. Maybe ask you to hex and uh, send them a link to get them to this page. But once they get to this page, if they are somehow prompted to log in, or maybe you tell them, "Hey, come here." come to this link and log in to see these products um, you know whether or not how you get them there once they type in their credentials so I'm going to type in Matt uh, this is Matt's pass I'm going to log in and as you can see it just redirects me right back to the products page like, uh, like nothing ever happened now if I tried that again I go right to the login page but that didn't happen because of that script that we wrote so now all I have to do which is on uh, the same domain is go to my log and you can see that username is Matt and uh, password is this is Matt's pass. So we basically just stole someone's username and password and now we can go in and log in as them and we never had to steal cookies, we never had to uh, do any session impersonation, changing uh, IPs or user agents. Uh, that's pretty simple. So anyways that's a very particular vulnerability uh, for a particular kind of site but there's many of them out there and uh, it's something to think about. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you later.